Coach Bundy, first off, camp here, Kevin Roberts. What's it like having, uh, he's old college coach years. What's it like having him in here for camp? Oh, it's great. Um, you know, it's always nice to have a different uh, person, you know, come in and, and show technique, especially someone like Kevin who's got that high energy. Um, so when he, when I talked to him uh, a couple months ago and he said that he was bringing a crew in and then he told me who he was bringing in, I, I just thought, man, I got to have it here. I'm going to have it at West Valley because, you know, I want my kids here. I want the area kids here. I mean, and, you know, we have a wide range of, uh, um, you know, schools here from, you know, Freeman to Deer Park to, or um, uh, Lakeside, Nine Mile Falls. So, I mean, if it's, it's just good for the area, you know, and the sport of wrestling. You know, looking at, you know, the, bringing the staff and bringing the guys he brought in, uh, you know, high energy Kevin Roberts. What do you like about the other guys? Uh, well, uh, you know, I, I like that, you know, you watch uh, Miller, Russell, and, uh, you know, he's, he brings some funk to the table, you know, he's got some, some different stuff, you know, you see a lot of, a lot of coaches that come in or, or wrestlers that come in and they just show the same thing over and over again, and uh, he, he mixes it up a little bit, and I know our kids really like that, you know, because that way they're just not, it's not repetition anymore, it's, it's kind of fun, um, so I did like that, and then, of course, uh, you know, I haven't had a chance to um, work a whole lot with, uh, with Mangrum, um, and, and elder, but um, you know, just from the session that that, uh, that Michael Manger put on this morning or this this afternoon, it you know, it looked really really good. I mean, our kids really enjoyed it. And elder was with them last night. They were doing some funk on the mat. Yeah, he was. I was uh, unfortunately I had some school work to do, so I wasn't able to uh, be in here last night. So <laughs> that's not bad, Coach. But when you look at uh, the guys that you have, you know, in the program here. Pretty nice school, first off. I think it's a beautiful facility. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, I'm spoiled with, uh, you know, I, district bought me two brand new Dolomers last year, and then we've been able to fundraise for some other, you know, extra crash pads and, uh, and uh, um, you know, got a lot of stuff through suit plays, and, and so it's, it, it is, it's a great facility. Your state as a whole is coming up, man. I mean, I was looking at, uh, we were talking about cadet d d dual results and then schoolboy dual results. You had a great schoolboy uh, experience in Indianapolis, I believe it is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you were there coaching. Mm -hmm. Ryan Holmes talked. You guys had a great tournament. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, just reiterate, our, our kids were, were a special group of kids that we brought with us. And they, uh, um, you know, they, they just did the right things. Uh, you know, from the get-go, they wanted to win. Uh, they, they, they were a, a, a team. I mean, I say that, you know, I mean, they really were. They, they did everything together. And you could see that team, um, you know, camaraderie come together when they actually went into duels. You know, they, they, they went out there and they, knowing that, hey, I'm doing this for this guy, you know, on my team. I'm doing this for the whole team. Um, it wasn't just an individual show. It wasn't one person trying to, to um, showcase themselves. It was about the team. And I think that's what made the difference with our kids was, uh, you know, we, we would get in matches where our kids were, you know, outmatched and, and they would they would suck it up and they'd score a point, you know, and not get not give up a pin or not get teched. And, you know, against when, when we when we came into close matches like we did against Illinois and Pennsylvania, I mean that was that was what made the difference, you know, two or three points. So, um, our kids, yeah, our, our state is coming up. Um, you know, I, I expect the cadets to have a, a great weekend over in uh, Pennsylvania. And I'm I'm I mean the juniors look pretty good too, so we'll see. Uh, you know, looking at Jace, Jace Malik, Jace, I was looking up on the door here, but I was like, who's this guy, coach? And you, you told me the story. It's a great story, you know, the guy's fighting cancer right now, but you don't have that guy on your team anymore. He's going to Idaho next year. Um, Idaho honored his scholarship. What's that mean to you knowing that, you know, this guy's still got a chance to get the college degree and Idaho stuck with him? I mean, you know, I've... I've never really been an Idaho fan, and it wasn't because I, you know, it wasn't because I didn't like Idaho, it was just because I, you know, was a super big Husky fan from growing up over on the west side of Washington. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I am a huge, I'll, I'll be a lifelong Idaho fan now. Um, I mean, just to, to, for them to stick by Jace and show the support that they, that they have shown, uh, you know, in such a tough time for him, and I mean, really in a, in a, and a sport like football in college, as competitive as it is, and I mean, as much as, you know, much emphasis is placed on winning, um, for them to honor a scholarship of a kid that may not play, um, just to do the right thing, I mean, what else can you say except for it? it's just, it's just a, a, 
uh, just showcases how you know how, how good Idaho is. You know, I mean, they have great. They have a great coaching staff. They have a. Uh, um, you know, they. I mean, they're just an honorable group to to do that, and I know it gives him hope. And that's all I care about is is for him to have, you know, a, a positive. Uh, you know, experience through this whole thing and just keep his head up because it's, uh, obviously it's not something that you really would, you know, expect as a 17, 18 year old. He was a state finalist at 220? Yeah, he was a three time state finalist at 220. So he was a state finalist as a freshman, sophomore, and a junior? Correct. Unbelievable. Yeah. And now, obviously, a big athletic guy going to play football, but he's probably not going to be able to play football, it doesn't sound like. I mean, you never, you never, uh, you never count anyone out. You know, I mean, I know there's lots of stories that you know, uh, people that do miraculous things um, when the doctors say that, that they can't. And um, although you know the doctors are telling him that there's a good chance that he won't play football, um, you know, Jason's still got his eye on playing football. So I mean, if he's if he thinks he can do it, then that's all that matters. Because he's got the motivation. Like, like you said, he's a three-time state finalist, and he should have been a four-timer. I mean, he was diagnosed, um, you know, two weeks before the regional tournament this year. And going in, he was 22 and one, and ranked number one in the state. So with a tumor in his hip. Yeah, with a with a tumor the size of a cantaloupe in his hip, he was 22 and one. That's incredible, yeah. coach. Well, hopefully, you know, he can he can beat it and and play for the Vandals, man. I I really hope so. Uh, but you got anything else for me? No, no. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming and thanks for uh, um, you know showcasing uh, our school and and um, you know such great clinicians. They do they do it, Coach. I'm just filming, all right? <laughs> all right. Thanks for the time. Yeah. Thank you.